I've received a lot of questions about magnetic film. Can you print on magnetics with a latex printer? And the answer is yes, absolutely. This is a magnetic. This is a traditional film roll magnetic. It is fully magnetized right on the roll. I've run probably about every brand out there. Magnum, Master, Magex, Digimag, probably all of them. We've run them in 010, 015, 020. I need to say something about 030. 030 magnetics traditionally is what's required to put outside on the door of a vehicle. That's the strength you need, otherwise it blows off. Now 030 is thicker than the spec that we recommend for the printer. The printer spec is 0.5 millimeters, so anything over 0.5 millimeters is outside of what HP recommends. 0.5 millimeters, I believe, is 0.168. So O20, if it's a true O20, and it may not be, is technically just a hair over what we recommend. So think of O20 really as kind of your, your dividing line. So O30, obviously, is too thick. Now, I've heard rumor that people are running O30 magnetics through the printer. And yes, I hear that it works. However, keep in mind, when you're outside of our specs, or that our engineering team builds the printer, there can be issues. So if you're going to do that, please be careful, be attentive, because you don't have a lot of room to work there. And I'm assuming that running a print head into a magnet would be undesirable. No, I'm pretty sure you don't want to do that. So try to stick to O2O 0 and thinner. Now there are O2, this is a Master Magnetics 015. There are O2O magnetics out there which are high intensity. Uh, Magnum Magnetics has a high intensity muscle mag which is O2O, but it's stronger than regular magnet and it serves the purpose of O30 for vehicle doors. That might be a very good choice for magnets. Some other things I want you to know about magnets. Magnets are, have a backing. What you're looking for with magnets on a latex printer is a backing that has an anti-slip to it. It has to be slippery or slick. Occasionally you'll get them and they're kind of sticky. Well, what's going to happen with a sticky magnet is it's going to go through the printer path and this is going to try to stick to the aluminum platen. And when it does, the magnet's going to kind of halt and that's going to cause it to head strike. Hitting a magnet, again, undesirable on a latex printer. So I recommend looking or sourcing magnets, and this is easily obtained, saying, look, I needed to have an anti-slip on the back. It has to be able to slide through the printer. Most of the magnets do have a slippery back, but be aware of that qualification. Now, you can overcome it somewhat by using the output platen covers, particularly the ones with the metal bar and the Velcro. The output, banner output platen covers you can put onto the printer and it will allow it to slide better because now you are not touching the actual aluminum uh, output plan. But be aware of the anti-slip. That's what you're looking for. Now, the other thing with banners is they are temperature sensitive. The bad news is the thicker the banner gets, the less temperature sensitive. So O30 is actually pretty resistant. O20 starts to get some deformation past a certain temperature point. Now it does help to put it on a take-up roll because banners tend to conduct, or uh, magnets tend to conduct heat, and they hold that. So they kind of get a little bit thermally ripply, and then once you put them on the take-up roll, a lot of times that smooths right back out again. So if you can put it on the take-up roll, that can help. But ideally what you want to do is you want to make sure you're going slow enough that the temperature is low, you can put enough ink down for the quality because magnet, someone buying a magnet is going to want some, some richness of, of saturation. You can't sell a, a poorer or lower um, image saturation for a magnet in most cases. So this one's running 16 pass, 69 square feet an hour, on an 015, which is fairly temperature sensitive. And that seems to work quite well. We've had very good luck with this. The scratch resistance that you're getting on the new latex on magnet is very good. Um, if you have a point where the dark areas, especially your heavy ink coverage, can scratch easily and the rest of it doesn't, what that means is you're too close to the curing threshold. You're right on that cusp. And in order for latex to have the full scratch resistance, it has to be fully cured. 
And sometimes, even though it's dry, it may not be fully cured. What that means is you have to either add an inner pass delay, which is going to give you a little more dwell time, or you go to a higher pass mode, or you reduce the amount of ink. But in a lot of cases, you don't want to put too low amount of ink on a magnet, otherwise the customer may not like the quality. So some of the things you need to know about magnets, yes, you can print on magnet. We are this close to having a uh, official magnet on the certified list. Just bear with us, it'll be there any minute. And I think there's, you're going to see a lot more magnets on our uh, HP Media Locator going forward. This has been a very popular technology. The scratch resistance is excellent. In many cases, you don't even need to laminate. Although, depending what you're going to do with it and how long you want to put it outside, depending if it's in or outdoor, you may need to laminate just because magnets are expensive. The more expensive the media, the more willing I am, especially in an outdoor environment, to put a laminate on top of it. That's going to assure the customer that they get the longest life out of a thing, considering the amount of their investment. Okay, some hints on magnets, things you need to know.